Okay, sorry about that. I had to go check on something real quick. Alright, so we're back uh, working on this guy. Just picking up where we left off yesterday. So we are working on putting in our dark section in here. Let's see if I can find the right shade. This looks like it. I'm gonna have to top off all of our colors here soon that we've been using, or at least some of them. So we are following along with a Bob Ross painting tutorial um, we've been we're gonna f we're trying to follow along with most of season three the joy of painting um, we're currently following episode six which is called covered bridge um, there is the link to that um, tutorial in full on the Bob Ross YouTube channel. Uh, we've got that sitting down in the corner. I have it muted, so if you want to actually watch it in its fullness, entirety, and all that, um, there's a link to go see that. Um, we've done the first five so far. Uh, I haven't skipped anybody yet. There's one coming up that we might skip. I'm still really, really, really undecided about it. Um, I really have to look at what colors I have and if I think we can pull it off because it's a lot of the same color. And I just don't know, man. I don't know if I have the colors and the skills to pull that one off. And that's going to be the infamous cowboy one. I did not realize the infamous cowboy one was in the season at first. I was like, oh shit. I mean, I was originally thinking, well, maybe we just start with season one and then work forward, but, or, um, you know, go in number order, but, uh, I was like, well, this one's kind of got a little bit of everything. So let's try this one. And we'll see how it goes. I mean, so far, I, I think we're improving a little bit in our painting with wool skills, maybe, possibly. Trying to make sense of things. I'm trying to figure them out. You okay? Yeah, uh, it's not like inside the drain. Sure, you're okay? Yeah, it's nice as a drain. Okay. My water's not the problem. I'm gonna grab it. It's probably gonna be 9 million degrees. Yeah, it was frozen in my hand. Oh, okay. It is currently 81 here today. Well, no, that's not true. <laughs> Hold on, that's not true. Um, I 
Windows 11 is saying it's 81, but it's pulling from a town that doesn't seem to update often. That's nearby. Um, it's 84 with a feels like of 86. I was gonna say it didn't feel. It was warm when I took the dog out, but it wasn't like it was the other day where you just wanted to burst into flames stepping outside. <laughs> They're saying we could have thunderstorms tonight. We'll see if that actually ends up happening. Don't know. I don't think they're supposed to be severe. Because it didn't seem like that was going to be the case if we did get them. Okay, so I've got some sketched in pen lines here. And I'm just kind of using as guidelines. And the pen, it, it's just a regular ballpoint pen. It doesn't really matter. We're not going to see it. And the fluff ends up covering it. So it's not like it needs to be a pen that's going to fade or anything. Just needed to be something that I could see on the felt. And pencil wasn't going to cut it. I have a chalk marker, but it doesn't have a fine point on it. And I could probably get like a, char a chalk um, pencil, but I find that tends to fade. And that's not what I wanted here since we were going to be working on this over the course of several weeks. Um, I wanted something that was going to stick around. Because we sketched out these lines a little bit ago. So sorry if... Uh, you're looking for a finished product in one session. This medium and the size that I'm doing this in um, doesn't really work like that. If I was doing something much smaller, maybe, maybe two sessions, depending on the length of the session, but I also don't have the four to uh, six hours to spend on one session like we were previously because um, I need to uh, take care of a few things now. Some life dynamics have shifted around a bit since uh, my dad passed away. Just kind of trying to figure out our new whirlwind of normal. And uh, that headache did turn into a migraine from yesterday, but uh, it, it finally dulled down when I woke up this morning. It's still kind of vaguely there. Not completely gone, but at least I can function at the moment. You all right? So sorry, he's having a rough day, so I'm just trying to keep tabs on him. has pretty severe anxiety and depression issues, so I'm 
and try to make it a point to be aware of what he's up to. Just make sure he's okay. He said he was having a rough day, and I'm like, uh-oh. So. This is a slower medium. It's not like paint where you can, you know... Although some paint... Depending on what you're painting, some paintings can, uh take several sessions to finish. But I like this because I don't have to worry about the paint drying out on me. And any harsh mediums. And I suppose this could be potentially travel friendly like I, you couldn't do this like in the car or I wouldn't recommend doing it in the car with the way you can get bounced around and you certainly can't do it on the plane with this sharp object um, but I mean like you could take it with you and like work on it um, on vacation or you know just to chill out it's portable you don't have to worry about water or paint or just have to make sure that your fluff doesn't fly away. It's, it's a more portable option like knitting or crocheting. And I mean, some people do paint on location and stuff, it's just then you have to, you know, carry around your wastewater and make sure you've brought water. Or your paint thinner, I don't know. And then you have to deal with a wet painting, potentially, trying to get it back to where you're going. This I can just shove in a tote bag if it comes to it. this over to the edge of the mat constantly even though I don't need to um, you will see me pull it up off the mat pretty often um, I've had a couple incidents where when using this type of mat I haven't done that and uh, have almost um, well not almost I have successfully attached my uh, piece to the mat and uh, had a heck of a time getting it off of there so We're going to fill in, or finish filling in this side, and then we're going to hit up the other side. Although I might, you know, we'll put the bridge in first before we come back in with that. Um, Well, I don't know, maybe we should hit up the uh, other shade of green before we put the bridge in. 
might need a better option here. Hmm. Oh, come back. It's trying to get away. That won't do. That won't do at all. No, sir. So I'm trying to make this pretty solid in here. I don't want any of our base color shining on through here. Now I'm not 100% certain I've got enough of a swath of this dark green. I did um, widen it from what it originally was. I'm just hoping we've got it wide enough now. And we might. We might. So, let me stick you back in your bag right there. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of our varsity green. This is from that big twist value, and I say big twist value because that is the name of that particular um, that particular line, I guess we'll call it from uh, Joanne's I think they've got a couple different versions of their big twist stuff, so. Alright, so this piece I've got pretty thin. And we've got it kind of wispy. Airy or stringy, whatever you want to call it. I do have my finger gently resting on the end here. Hold on, I have to check on something real super quick. Got something on the stove. like a hissy noise and I wasn't sure if my pot had uh, steamed over and uh, husband had crinkled something in the kitchen. Sorry about that. I was like that pot was fine when I last checked on it a few minutes ago. this super thick here. We're just trying to add a little bit of color variation in here. Doesn't need to be a lot of color variation either. Well, it's kind of hard to see it. And that's the point, because I don't want it real bright on there. 
because this is supposed to be a darker section but it just looked funny leaving it one solid color so that varsity green might become a little bit more visible on the camera as we get more of the gray covered up as we go along here So the thinner, stringier pieces take a little bit more um, take a few more minutes to tack them in because you're trying to make sure that you've gotten all those little guys. Alright, that's going to get a little bit more, not much just because we don't have any of that spread out to over there. Like really, really fluffy and stretched out here. Like I just want the barest kiss suggestion of this lighter green in there while still being pretty dark. I might need you to top the water off in that in about like a half an hour, an hour. Alright, I'll check on it. Okay. Alright, so we've got our very subtle bit of the varsity green put in there which is what I wanted it just you can see it a little bit yeah if I bring it closer you can see it just kind of just barely in there and that's all we want we don't want it blatantly in your face that it's there Looks like this piece didn't fluff so well. Sometimes you'll have that. You'll get a section that just is being silly about being fluffed. Alright, now we're gonna. Grab this. Sorry, I had to check on something that uh, caught my eye, and I was like, What on earth? Okay, so just gonna try to 
stay on my line here as much as I can. Because the sides on this are going to be what I end up trimming off. when we're all done. to keep this the same um, width or close to the same width as our other side over here. So again, this is probably going to take a couple of passes just to try to get this filled into my desired coverage. Because for this section I don't want um, any of that gray peeking on through. So I kind of want this spot to be pretty solidly filled in. best as we can here. Okay, looked like it was pulling a little taut in one area, so I just wanted to pop that up there. You can kind of manipulate the placement of your fluff just a little bit by just kind of changing. I mean, you're supposed to go up and down, but if you put a slight angle on it, very slight, you can kind of push your fiber around a little bit within reason. you need to just kind of nudge it just a little bit depending on what surface you're working on sometimes it works better than others Zorts. Good morning. How are you today? Hopefully things are well in Zorts land. Hopefully. to work tonight. Ugh. That's right, it's Monday. I lose track of time when I get a migraine and I go to bed early. Okay. 
forget what time I gave up last night. It was way early. I think it was almost 8 o'clock. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? So I gave up and went and laid down. Well, well, do I need to take you to the vet for a bladder problem, or <laughs> are you just uh, bored? I think he's just bored. It's been about an hour. Yeah, I think he's just bored. No, go lay down, buddy. You gotta wait at least another half hour, sir. You gotta go lay down. Just a little bit. Come on. I get you in a little bit. Go. Or he just wants goodies. He might exactly. be hungry. But he could, you know, eat his dog food. That's fresh dog food in that bowl. Brat. I don't blame him, though. I mean, it's getting nice out. For normal people. <laughs> for us, we step outside and we're like, oh god, we're dying. Between the wind and our allergies. It's been a little bit better since we put the air conditioner on. I'm not as completely crushed. I'm still a little crushed, but it wasn't it's not as bad the past two days. Which is kind of hilarious. But I guess the windows are shut, so. But um, we're supposed to get storms tonight. Actually, the weather service doesn't know. <laughs> um, they've got their forecast for the day uh, stating it's going to be an unpredictable week. And I'm like, so you guys just don't fucking know, <laughs> right? Just covering all the bases. You might, you might not. I'm like, right. That makes it a little hard for us to plan dinner this week. We don't know if we can grill. Like, if it's raining, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, they are being honest. Well, the one weather dude has, like, a four degree... Every so often they do it within a four degree um, guarantee forecast. And if he's wrong, like, somebody's... A, a viewer's name is, like, picked out of a list that... Hi, Momo. You really want to pee, huh? Because now you're over here. Give me a minute, okay? Can you give me a minute? I don't have any food, bud. I'm not lying to you. I don't have any snacks. Right. Um, where they've got some kind of viewer list or something of people that sent their names in, and if he's wrong and your name is picked, you get sent, like, a, a TV station umbrella or some shit. Um, but, uh, they're like, yeah, we don't know. <laughs> it's like, okay. Like, rain and us grilling's not a big deal, because we put the grill in the carport, so we're not out of the direct sun and stuff. But, um... I don't want to be out there if it's lightning, though. That's a little much. That's that's asking for trouble. Um, especially with the way we can have lightning strikes around here. Let's not tempt fate, because uh, fate likes to say, <laughs> fresh meat. Especially with the way our luck is, so let's just not even try it. It's not like it's an enclosed garage. It's, uh, you wouldn't want to grill in that anyway, especially with charcoal. But, um, you know, you're still technically outside even though there's a roof over you. And lightning could go through that. So let's just not tempt fate. Because Russell was thinking about grilling, but I'm like, I don't know if it's going to be storming at dinner time. It might not be. They've got us in, like, thunderstorm chances the entire week. I'm like, oh god, no wonder my head hurts. I can feel it coming. I thought we were gonna get something last night, and it never... 
materialize. Like my body it was like something's coming. I'm like, oh no, it might have just been the increase in humidity, because that went up to like 80% yesterday. I'm like my neck and the back of my head were just like, no, we're not doing this. Do I need to get him? He did pee for me when I took him out. Um, maybe 45 minutes ago-ish. Maybe closer to an hour ago. I mean, he's a little dog. He does have a tiny bladder, but... I haven't noticed anything concerning on the potty pads. Because I laid down about 8 o'clock last night. And I just... I felt so goddamn floaty and my head was killing me. I'm like, fuck it. I'm laying down. And then I was up at midnight. I have no idea what time I actually fell asleep. It might have been around 9. Uh-oh. Really? What was that about? I'm dropping frames. And I don't know why. I looked up and OBS was red, and I'm like, excuse me? Two o'clock seems to be the witching hour lately. is happening my internet connection like dropped suddenly on my PC I don't know what's happening so the question then becomes is it the modem or is it the router And I don't know. We tend to have little tiny micro drops every so often. And then it smooths out and it's fine. We're going to give this a minute. Um, we've tried resetting the router before and it might settle down for a little bit. We've got a lot of stuff running through our router though. Oh, there it goes again. What the hell? Oh, wow. It, it, it'll run for a few minutes and then my PC's internet connection is saying nope and then it comes back up. We're on fiber so it really shouldn't be doing this. We pay a lot of money for this. Like we switched to the service specifically because Cox was being Cox for the amount of money they were charging for their shitty internet plus TV. It was ridiculous. And then... This one. Like, I've had trouble around starting the stream around 2 o'clock some days. Where my connection says it's unstable. And then it takes a few minutes and then it's fine. Our neighbor, we let use our internet sometimes too. Cause she like pees us to cut her grass and stuff at times.
They're doing road work. Um, in one end of town. They are replacing water pipes. But I wouldn't think that that would affect us because it's down on the other side of town and it's not near where the um, phone company is who our fiber is through. If it does it again, I'll have Russell reset everything when he comes back in. I would go do it, but I don't know where the reset buttons are on everything. Because it's in the other room, but he knows where it is. That's so strange. We might be okay now. I can't type with these things on my fingers. Like I can't find my keys, so I get frustrated with trying to type with them on. Might be all right. Yeah, so I don't know if that was a router thing or if that was a modem thing. Um, honestly, we probably need a more heavy-duty router. Because we've got my PC, Russell's PC, my mom's Kindle, my Kindle, Russell's phone, Russell's computer in the other room, Fire Stick whatever the hell the neighbor is using I think her phone I'm not sure so later we might need to reset the router and the modem okay, well, it's over. um I just I dropped a shit ton of frames and then my PC was acting like I had no internet connection for a few minutes back to back now you keep saying drop frames are you talking about when you're on your stream no dropped frames here okay and then it cut my connection to Twitch at one point because it was so bad. And then here it was saying I had no internet connection. Okay. At all. <sighs> so I don't know who's I'll try, to blame. I'll try to reset everything then. Not right now. No, 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 obviously not. Okay. But I think we're okay right now. At the moment. I don't know what it is. Like before it used to be seven o'clock is when it would be weird. And then I changed the stream time. I thought about going back to later in the evening, but sometimes Russell does stuff with our friend Tyler. And so then... You just said hungry for hot dogs, huh? Did, did he at least pee? A little? Yeah, he did. Okay. Can you speak to the audience? Barely heard him. <laughs> That's okay. Indoor voice is better than screechy voice. Yeah, just the fact that he made any noise was sufficient voice. We can't let Momo be outside on his own because we've got birds of prey and we don't have a fenced in yard. And he's an old guy. I don't want him out in the heat too long. I think we're okay now, so let's see. If I could type, that would be great. this about? I've got like breaking news showing up on Windows 11 that's not really breaking news because it was like from an hour ago. 
I don't know, man. We seem to be good now. We seem to be good. No, I didn't think that router was that old, but... Maybe in a few months we might need to think about replacing it. And if that doesn't help, it might be the modem. In which case we might need to talk to the phone company about replacing that. Seem to have gotten our act together now. All right. So I hope everybody had a good weekend. I didn't get any video editing done this weekend. I was actually trying to do that last night, and then I'm like, yeah, no, my head hurts too much for this. What am I doing? I was like, just stop. And then I couldn't even focus long enough to play in my off-stream dinkum game, and I'm like, yeah, no, we're going to bed. And I was up at midnight. And <laughs> couldn't fall back to sleep. I think I actually woke up at 11.30. And by midnight I was like, I have to pee. I'm laying there trying to fall back asleep wasn't happening. So then I was up till like three. Then I laid back down and then I think I was still up till five. a waste of productivity. But I think I've got about an hour of video left to edit on that fourth live stream on that previous project. I need to get back into Minecraft. I've got a couple of short sessions recorded. You okay? I think I oh. <clears throat> it would be the troublemaker. I thought that was you rooting around into something. Peabot, what are you getting into? Peabot, come on. No. Come on. He's been a terror today. He's been meowing his head off. I went over to pick him up and he's like, no, you're touching me. Stop it. Put him down and then he starts meowing at me again. I'm like, what? Pick him up. Pet him. I stop petting him, I go to walk away, and he swings at me because I stopped petting him. I'm like, dude. So much attitude with this one. Today. It's like, you need to stop there, buddy. And now he's just trying to get into everything. I've tried playing him with playing with him with the cat toys that we have and he's like no I want to get into everything I'm not supposed to 
He is a full on cat cat. Like, he could go chill with my mom. She'll pet him. <laughs> yeah, okay. That might have split the stream into two videos. If not three, so when this gets sent over to YouTube, it might be a little weird on the archive. I'll put a note in the description about it. Because I'm not going to edit that together. I don't have time. Peabot wants to wrestle, and Ed's like, no, it's nap time. And the only other troublemaker that will wrestle with him is in his afternoon timeout. So the other old cat can come out and beg for treats and from uh, my mom and take a nap out here with everybody else, apparently. That seems to be her... game plan for how she spends her day. I have to paint next month. Uh, paint a, a room in the house, not not a stream. We're not streaming that. That's okay. I don't have a means to stream that very easily. And Y'all don't need to see my chubby butt trying to paint a room. That's okay. I think I, I think one gallon of paint's gonna do it because the one wall's not getting painted. And I don't think I need to do the trim. I might need to roll a tape though, so I don't have to do trim. To ensure that I don't need to. But, hmm, we might have missed our opportunity because that means the air conditioner is going to have to be off. What's this about the air conditioner going on? When I paint that room. Oh, yeah, well, I'm sure she'll, she'll cope for a little while. I meant you. I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay. Maybe we can try to find a wall paint that says low odor on it, although they all smell. We don't even have the air turned down that much, and she's like, it's cold in here. And I'm like, in your room maybe, but the rest of the house it's like 900 degrees. Unfortunately, her room gets the better heat run and AC run access. 
I would put her in here, but she doesn't want to change rooms, and it gets real cold in this room in the winter. And it's further from the bathroom, so. Yeah, this guy was a little bit thicker, so it's taken a few extra minutes to get him tapped into place there. I mean, the back looks pretty spiffy at the moment. It's going to look weird when we put the bridge in, though. Alright, so I've got this one spot. Actually, I've got two spots. deal with the smaller spot first. Sorry, I'm paranoid now. I'm checking OBS constantly to make sure it's behaving. Seems to be now. don't have that much running, so that's why I was kind of surprised. That was weird. It sounded like something tapped our door. Did you bring the trash can back with how windy it is? remember noticing when I took Momo out. I just kind of happened to think about it. Probably too windy to grill out today anyway. Sorry, we dug the George Foreman grill out. We haven't used that in quite a while. steaks tonight so I've got that cooking I've got it pre-cooking she with her dentures she can't chew a steak like right norm cooked normally on a grill so I have to do some uh, extra pre-grilling cooking with it so she can chew it kind of what I'm keeping an eye on and then she wanted her corn on the cob cooked not sure if I'm gonna have to cut that off the cob for her today I might and I think Russell and I might just have some macaroni and cheese with ours or with mine I don't know what he's going to have with his. He's got Spam that he just put in the freezer. Maybe he'll have something with that. Okay, so yeah, you can faintly see that that other green kissed in there on that other side now at a distance. So I'm just going to kind of stretch this out. We don't want this super thick. We just want a suggestion of it being there. All right. Or a 
the little sun bleeding through the tree canopy or whatever's going on here to make this section a little bit darker. We want it subtle. Very, very subtle. Story of my life. Oh, great. Kind of is a little bit thicker on the edges there instead of in the middle. I guess that's okay. I don't think I really need to come back into that. Just scraping that around before it's fully attached. that all in there. Alright. Okay. I know you really can't see that green, but I can. So, hopefully that will start to... Oh, well, you can see a little bit of it right in there. It might become a little more visual as we are going along here. Now he's got it a little more like not straight. He's we might add a little bit more to that soon. We'll see though. Okay. So now we have to figure out our ball ridge here. I'm trying to remember what color the bridge was going to be because I've got quite a few brown colors here. Let me grab my sketch. Look out, Mr. Turtle. I need my sketchbook for a second. Chocolate brown. Really? I've got all three of those in there. Well, where did I put that? I 
Oh, okay. I guess that makes a little bit of sense. Okay, so put you back up there to dampen that noise. Sorry, fish, you're not getting fed right now. I fed you not that long ago. Okay, so we need to get a thin guy here. Not too thin, but thin. I don't want him too thick. All right. So we have to figure out the height of our bridge here. So. The top of our so it's gonna be hmm. about probably a little bit. Maybe about there ish. Well, that's where it's going now. All right, I'm going to try to twist this. Oh, hello, stomach. side of our roof line. That's might be a little If we're here, this needs to come out a little bit further. We can extend that a little bit if we need to. Don't know if we will yet. So then this guy is going to sit out here. green section. This needs to overlap a little bit. We don't have any weirdness happening.
And I'm not pulling this real tight. But I am holding it. So it doesn't get too silly. Just kind of getting the outside of our sheet. Figured out here. On the one side, so we can attempt to recreate it on the other. Loose ends in. Okay, so we've got one side kind of penciled in there. Kind of. Alright, so then. We need another longer piece here. Hitch of my guy might be a little bit off. In which case we can try to fix that. For right now, we're going to start down here. Okay, so again, I want to be a little bit on the green section. And I'm just twisting it a little bit just to kind of Try to keep it straight ish. This may or may not work out. It actually looks a little bit wider there. So I might widen this. A little bit. Maybe this will be our indoor, our inside line. We'll see. We've still got time to figure that out. about there-ish. It's fairly close to that. I'm not too concerned with how far that is off because we can uh, still fix that. with the width of this guy because we can elongate that so right now let's see so about here to just a little bit over That's a 
about that. Angles, so if we come to about here. Don't worry, we will even this up. other side but we probably need to Some of it up. Although that one was probably Is possible. Just got to be real careful with how you're doing it. You don't completely fuck everything under it. that piece I'm not gonna be able to use again because there's too much other oh keyboard tray what are you doing down there just shifted <laughs> made a very loud bang okay so since that was pretty badly off center And this guy. Let's try to do it um, this way. Alright, I'll tack you into there. Lightly. So if I tack you into there, then I want. there and then you about here. Right, that looks a little bit more even I think. At least than the other one. Side edge. Oh, 
Okay. Alright, I need to check on that pot on the stove. That's a that's a lot better. That's a lot more even than it was. Okay, give me one second. Be right back. Pretty much done, so I've just got it on simmer. <coughs> Keep it hot while you're waiting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty straight there, or at least better than it was. So now we have to figure out the inside of our fridge. And I'm thinking this might be our inside line, because we can take this out a little bit further. Um, so... The bridge doodle overhang e thingies are kind of about the same line. Not exactly, but close to the inside roof of the bridge here. So. How about this guy across. Oh, this side's a little bit longer. Well, that's okay. Alright, so we got this tapped into here. This guy just needs to be a fraction longer. Stakes construction here, my goodness. Okay. Alright, 
new. This needs its little angular guys tapped into here. Don't worry, we'll get that little triangle filled in. Won't you worry. Right now I'm just kind of focusing on our shape. And we'll figure it out from there. things considered. This is our first bridge that we've attempted to do with this. Alright, so now I need to beef up our sides here a little bit. Right? So his sides are a little bit thicker. So I'm just trying to get our outer wall sorted here. Okay, you know what? We should probably start up here instead of at the bottom. So if we you about there that gives us a little bit extra space for our hangover there. That's pretty good. Pretty good with that. Alright. And I'm just twisting them just a little bit just to help us Stay a little bit straighter here. Okay, now we're going to fill in this section in here, so it's not going to stay that color. We are going to lose a little bit of that background, and that's fine. That's why we did the background first. So we didn't have any weird seams coming up to the edge of this guy. That's why I didn't pencil him in. pen him in and then, you know, use those guidelines, which probably would have kept that whole weirdness with the roof happening, but uh, at the same time, it would have made the background be a little weird. This is our chocolate brown in the big twist value brand here. That's probably about close to where that's going to come down. Close, not 
necessarily 100%, but close. Oh, somebody's got their tractor out. Oh no. I wonder if that means they're cutting hay fields. Fuck. Ugh. I mean, they gotta get cut, right? But it's not an everyday thing that somebody's taking their tractor past the house. Somebody's either somebody's helping someone else or they've got an extra farm field that's not near where the rest of their stuff is. Hmm. That looks like we've got some gray splotchy popping up into there. So you can hang out about there. There we go. That's looking like a bridge shape there. Huh. Not the best bridge, but it's a bridge. I mean, we've done the cabins before, badly. How many cabins have we done so far? Two? In this season? There was the one in the first episode of this season. And we had the night snowy one. I feel like we've done two cabins this season. This is our first bridge shape. Alright, now. Now we get to fill them in. Kind of looks like a little gazebo guy. We're going to start with filling in the road section here, because that's going to get filled in across and the rest of this is going to go up and down. So that way it kind of fits in with the directional placement of like wooden planks and stuff. having to rip out that other line didn't damage us too bad. I was uh, surprised I was able to get that out of there. So our bridge placement's a little off. His road's a little more that way. Our road's a little more this way. That's fine. Not a huge deal. really just kind of splitting hairs at this point, or splitting fiber, I guess, if you want to go that way with it. Okay, 
because the road's going to continue through the bridge, so. But this section of the road's going to be darker because we're going through something that has a roof over it. So we're not going to highlight this section. And if anything, I think I might add a little bit of black in there too. And I was trying to see if I had any hanging up next to me. I probably have some black in the little roving bags. But I could probably get away with grabbing here. from Zorts because I know he's got to go to work today. What's everybody's plans for this evening? Just chilling? What are your plans for the week? I have to shampoo a road this week. my big plans. I should have done it last week and I just couldn't get my act together to do it. Although I think the one day I was gonna do it, we took my mom to the zoo. And then the next day I was just like, fuck this shit. <laughs> I didn't get anything. Well, no, I did get some video editing done last Wednesday, but that was about it. Oh, make sure everybody tells Taco happy birthday if you see her today. Taco from uh, Wow Challenges, Fiesta Taco. filling in the road that's coming between the the bridge walls as it were and then I'm gonna dig through my little roving guys here just a second see if we can Darken the sky up a little bit. I think he just doesn't highlight that section, but for our purposes, just to slightly differentiate the colors that we've got happening here, I think we're going to need to. Uh, get a little bit of either like a navy blue or a black or something in there. To get some shadow. Cause it's gonna look weird if I leave it the same shade as the rest of it, even if we like highlight it as it's coming out this way. Alright, I just want to make sure that that last little bit is good and attached. up. 
Make sure everybody's behaving back here, looking pretty good. I mean, you can kind of see our shape back here. It's going to look a little funny once we get the, uh, the sides put in. Oh, yeah, that guy was a little crooked. That's all right. You know, what can you do? Let me see if I have... No. All right, I don't think I need these guys after all. They can go back in there. Let me check the other. We've got a couple more. Oh. Let's see. What do we have in these guys? What color is this? It's dark. I think it'll do. Alright, sorry for the crinkling. Kind of sorry, it had to happen. Uh, where's the end? There we go. So this is roving. This is from the set of multicolored roving that I had picked up off of Amazon. All they give you is like what they can shove into this floss bag. It's not very much if you're planning on doing large pieces. Um, if you're planning on just doing like the little figurines, it might be fine. But that's not quite what we're doing here, so I had to end up going with the yarn just to make my life a little bit easier. So, just kind of spreading this out. I don't want the this black color, I guess, to completely overrun the brown. So kind of like how we were doing our grass shades, where we wanted the other color to still kind of be visible. And the placement on this doesn't have to be 100% perfect since it is just trying to make this a little bit darker. a lot of thin little wispy guys, so I'm just making sure that we are where we're supposed to be. Right, if I come over that edge there a little bit, that's okay, because this is going to get filled in with a, another color. Let's see, we didn't need very much of that at all. I'm gonna leave this guy hanging around though, just in case we still need him. Tuck him over there. All
Alright, so we've got that darkening up that section. It's hard to see it with all the bright colors kind of washing out that section. But it'll make a little bit more sense once we start to get the rest of the bridge filled in here. And it's a little bit darker. Alright, so we'll go back to our chocolate brown here. And we'll start filling in the sides of our bridgey guy. Don't want to rush this part at all. So I want to try to stay in our lines that we took the time to put in place. Oh, so carefully. been doing pretty good with our well I say that now and I've probably jinxed it we've been doing pretty good at keeping our edges in straight uh, straight and not too wonky wobbly we've also been trying to be a little bit more mindful about where I'm grabbing to pull up off the mat as well so I tend to grab from the edge, and that might also be what's been stretching everything out a bit on those outer edges. take our time here and work on getting our bridge walls filled in. So we don't get too carried away. Doesn't look too bad so far. I mean, we had that one little misstep there where we had the uh, edge of that roof all sorts of not right, but now we're looking pretty good. better. At, uh, at the prospect of things now here. I'm going to still have to come back and highlight this guy too. So. The walls will get of a highlight weathered wood treatment. Before we're fully done with the bridge. So 
So I've got these bits here a little bit thicker. It helps that we don't have to add quite so much. Because we've got a lot of fiber in this area so far. We do. But that's okay. It's gonna happen. It's just the nature of it. And you can hear how crunchy it is. I'm still going through it okay. Like I'm not having to fight to get the needle in there. going in pretty easily. But it is quite a quite a bit of fiber there. I mean it's pretty stiff compared to the section without it. I mean you can kind of tell that like down here is floppy. This definitely isn't Now, I'm going to get this next bit of fluff here. Oh, it feels like it's up to 88 now. Ugh. I was hoping we'd get at least like the month of May to stay somewhat spring-like before we started jumping into early summer. I guess that's just not meant to be. Alright, so you have a little bit of a section here. We need to come back over. We'll get that filled in in just a minute. Right now I'm more focused on just the side. We'll get there. Our bridge construction company is a little bit slower than Bob's. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that as long as our bridge is sturdy. It doesn't collapse when we look at it then it's all good. Right. Oh, you weren't too bad that time. Sometimes when you go to peel it up off of this mat in particular, it feels like you're peeling apart Velcro. Not quite as scritchy, but it has like the same sort of resistance to it. So how are we looking back here? This is the back side. I'm just curious to see if we're going to be able to actually tell that's um, some sort of bridge when we're done. And you can kind of see something. Kind of, sort of. Alright, I'm going to get this guy filled in right here. He is next on our list here. What is... Oh, we have to... 
There it is. There's something on my mouse pad. I had to move my mouse real quick. Just trying to keep an eye on the weather. Okay. So it might be one of those days where we don't know what the weather wants to do here. I don't think we're expecting anything too terribly concerning, but with how windy it's been today, I wouldn't necessarily be surprised. Especially north of us the past couple of nights have been under um, severe thunderstorm watches, which is kind of surprising. They had some large hail with those. Some people were saying they were seeing like golf ball, softball size hail, baseball. Like a good ways north of us, but still, that's a little concerning. That'll do some damage. For sure. That's looking pretty good. Alright, what time is it? Right, we still have like a good half an hour. Left in our time together today. So let's start to work on this side here. too bad here for our first covered bridge. Alrighty. to make sure that we don't lose that inside line too much. more of our... Well, we probably don't need that much. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We might go through that, but well, no, we might not. That might be a little excessive. Yeah, that probably is a little excessive. Okay. So then again, Maybe we will need all that. Ugh, the skin on my hands. It's making this difficult. Okay. 
Staying in our lines here. I'm terrible at staying in lines and coloring books. I can never relax when I'm coloring in a coloring book because I'm so focused on trying not to go outside the lines that I'm like just this bundle of tension. So we've got a little bit of green poking through in here, so I'm probably going to, oh yeah, alright, let's flip this guy upside down here. And backfill over our thin spots. See if that will save us from having to grab another piece and uh, overlay that particular section. I think I'm gonna have to overlay a little bit right in there. But the rest of it should be okay. We'll see. Okay, let me pop this guy gently. No, oh, yeah, we definitely have a structure. I mean, this is the back side, so it doesn't really matter, but kind of see it. It's very stiff in here. It doesn't want to bend because of all of the fiber going this way. That's alright. I really don't need a huge piece here. For this little spot. Sometimes as you're working in other sections, you'll have some thin spots kind of open up here and there. I mean, that's alright, it's gonna happen. At least it does for me, doing it this way. So, I'm just gonna patch that over just a little bit and I think there's one more spot right in here that I really want to fill in hmm. actually we might have two spots I'm 
lost a little bit of our lack there. But not the end of the world, certainly. And um, if we really need to, once we start shading, we can always come back in. Just a little bit. This spot is so tiny. Probably not even quite that visible, but I can see it. And I feel like it was just a matter of time before camera picked up on it. All right. Sneak this a little bit together. And I'm going to start a little bit on top of the area that we've already done. So that way we manage to overlap it just a little bit. And it doesn't quite look um, like we don't have any seam issues where the two are potentially meeting. stay within this outer line. I don't want to get too carried away. And the structure is not something that we want to uh, weeble wobble. Because the bridge could fall down, so. That would not be good. I know I saw that piece up there, but. At this moment, it's just easier. Come back in right now. Just kind of fill in that stubborn spot. Well, we are right here, right now. Working on it. I still might need to put a little bit of a patch on there. Just to fill in that little bit of a gap. finish getting this upper section. Kind of tacked in place and then we'll worry about looking a little bit further down. At least the internet seemed to start behaving.
spot up there. That's fine. Not a big deal. Because we still have to fill in that section too. So and even if we didn't have to fill that section in, still not a big deal. We can come back in and fix it. smooth that down. Make sure everybody's looking good back here. And they seem to be. For the most part. Alright. So we'll get that sorted out there. Sorry, that piece looked like it wasn't fully seated. So we'll just give that spot a couple extra tappy twos. And there we go. Alright, so that patch is in place. Good as new. Alright. Um, hmm. I don't know if I'm going to need to patch that spot. I don't know, I'm gonna have to see what it looks like where the uh, highlights are gonna be sitting here. I might just throw a tiny patch on that spot. Just to try to save myself some trouble later. at the moment to roll with. I might use all of this. Maybe. need that big of a patch here. So let's tap you into here. As best as we can. still have some time left today, so let's see about filling in. Probably should work from 
the top so we don't get too all over the place. Now this might take a couple passes because we've got all those colors kind of happening underneath of this guy. We've got our tree colors, our oranges, our greens, our purple sky. up that's under my finger here in just a second. I do want to make sure I've given a fair shake to everything else that's in here. Just make sure it's good and attached. about this bridge. But I have to say, even with our little roof misplacement that we had to adjust, I'm not looking half bad here. I think it actually looks better than a couple of our cabin attempts here. Honestly. Okay. Now, we get this tacked up into here. Are you deeply involved? Can you go take the black or the red pot and um, fill it about halfway with water and start it to boil? Okay, what pot? Either the black one or the red one. The big one? Yeah. Okay. What are you making? Uh, the corn. Oh, okay. That'll buy us a few extra minutes. I can't really do the corn on the cob on the George Foreman. It's not really gonna work. around with it today, so. Too hot for that shit. So we're not doing too bad. 
At least I don't think we are. I mean, uh, the, the peak of our bridge roof's a little rounded, but... All in all... If that's the worst complaint... Or the worst flaw... Not bad. Right, I gotta take what we can get. I'm not expecting it to be perfect. I am my own worst enemy. My own worst I'm critic. Sure. Could I put the start that? Yeah, if you could. Alright, more like setting it at. Uh, like six. direction. So, I mean, they say if you stop finding flaws in your work, you won't improve. And I know we definitely have room for improvement. I know that. Did you want corn today? Uh, no. You sure? Yes. Okay. So it looks a little disheveled, but <laughs> we're getting it filled in. I was like, this side probably should have some attention on it. Because we haven't given it too much. I just want to tighten those fibers up a little bit. And we will work on filling this other side in. So I'm fully expecting to have to do a couple of patches to our bridge roof here. Just because of how thick our other colors are underneath. I'm not going to be surprised one bit. If they start shining on through there. So like right in there, we've got some uh, thinner spots trying to be a little bit stubborn. And that's all right. We know, we know that happens and we know how to take care of it. Not a big deal. We'll stick some more fluff on it. This though, that in there is becoming a problem. I'm trying to see if that'll fade into the background, but I don't think it's gonna, so I might have to do something with that. Uh, 
that will be a problem for next session though. Got a little extra thin in there and that's the gray underneath trying to cause problems. So I'm gonna have to grab some more of that golden color and just lay a little bit more in there. Not a huge deal right now. I'm just annoyed that it chose to show up right now. Probably because of how we were pulling the fibers, putting the edge of the bridge in. So, I mean, not a huge surprise. Alright, so, looking at our time, I think we're going to have to stop there before we fully finish getting that put in but it's not too bad it kind of looks oh, kind of looks like this black ominous or dark brown shape um we're on point with his so far let's put it that way um so not not too terrible so today's progress was we finished this side we got that side fully put in and we got our shape laid out and we started to fill in our bridge section so not not too bad um, so next session when are we doing this again next Sunday what is coming no we don't have a stream this Sunday next Monday uh, this coming Sunday's Mother's Day I will be cooking all day I will not be available so um, next Monday is when we will be back working on this and um, we will finish filling in this guy and then fixing this problem here and so that's it um i don't think anybody i know that could use a pop-in is doing anything let me just double check the other list because the one list sometimes isn't completely accurate Um, we could go see that person, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, um, so yeah, no, we'll just stop there. Uh, you guys have a great week. I will see you for sure on Thursday for some Coral Island action. So until then, try to stay cool. It's gonna be a hot one this week, and, uh... Try to stay dry because there's a lot of rain potential and uh, have a good one.